Okay, hello my dear kids. I am Cik Gurila and today you will learn something. Okay, I just showing you some picture. It's like this one, it's like a mushroom. The green one, mm, where is it? Next, we have this. This kind of photo as well, maybe. Okay, and the last one, I think most of you know about this. This is a virus. So, our topic today is microorganism. So, you will learn this topic. This is a topic for standard six. So, what is microorganism? Microorganism. It's actually two words. The first word is micro, which means very tiny and invisible to the naked eye. So, it's very, very small. You cannot see it. Next, we have organism. Organism is a living thing. Seems like us, we also are living things. So, microorganism is a very... Microorganisms are very tiny living things that are invisible to the naked eye and can only be seen under the microscope. Small, tiny things. Next, Let's identify the type of microorganism. Here are some examples. Hmm. So, can you guess out what kind of microorganism? <laughs> this is a fungi. So, mushroom is a fungi. We have a muco, penicillium, and yeast. This is the example of fungi. So, there are fungi that can be seen with the naked eyes like a fungus. We can see it, okay? but sometimes we cannot see the inside, the inner, the tiniest things. Okay? Some we can see it, some we cannot see it. There are also fungi that can only be seen using a microscope and a magnifying glass, such as yeast, muca, and penicillium. Fungi have plant-like properties, but cannot make their own food because only microorganisms that have photosynthesis photosynthesis no that have um chlorophyll the green things can make their own food but it's still a plant like properties but it cannot make their own food because they don't have chlorophyll Fungi reproduce through spores. Okay, they also reproduce because they are living things. Same like us, we also reproduce. But human reproduce by giving, giving birth for animals. Some of them reproduce by laying eggs or giving birth. Okay, but for fungi, they reproduce through spores. The second example is algae. So this is several examples which is seaweed corella spirogyra and spirulina so algae have plants like properties that have chlorophyll and carry out the process of photosynthesis to make food that's mean algae can make their own food because they have chlorophyll once they have the chlorophyll they can make photosynthesis process and then they have their own food there are two types of algae so the first one is unicellular algae it's very small and invisible to the naked eyes for example like the phytoplankton if you can remember plankton in the spawn box square pants okay that's also one of the example of algae next we have multicellular algae so for multicellular algae it's large and visible to the naked eyes for example like the seaweed we can see the seaweed right okay that's the second example we move to the third example which is protozoa this is some example examples of protozoa which is we have euglena plasmodium paramecium and ameba so protozoa mostly live in aquatic habitats such as in ponds rivers swamp and lakes that is protozoa next we have bacteria 
So this is some examples of bacteria. We have E. coli, we have Salmonella, we have Streptococcus, and Campylobacter. So this is the most common bacteria around us. There's a lot of more bacteria. So I cannot include it here, but you can search it by yourself. And usually when you heard the advertisements of Life Boy, so that commonly said about this kind of bacteria. And bacteria can come in many forms such as root, spiracles and coil. So if you can see from this diagram, some of it in a shape of root, some is a spherical and some are coil. And bacteria are also available in variety of size and colors. So if you can see from this diagram, it's a colorful. And the last one, we have virus. So this is one of the most dangerous microorganism since we are in the pandemic of COVID-19. So COVID-19 also a type of virus. Here I show you some other examples of virus. For example, like HIV. We commonly heard about HIV and then we have influenza, bacteriophage, COVID-19. Okay, you know that we live it for about two years, almost two years. Okay, and hepatitis. So, what is virus? Virus are the most tiniest microorganisms that can only be seen under the electron microscope. So, by comparing the size of virus, and the other type of microorganism, virus is the most smallest, tiniest microorganism. So, virus can live in plant, animals, human, and even other microorganisms. So that's why microorganism, eh, microorganism, virus can live in human, animals, and the most scariest things is it can even live in another type of microorganism yes so that is virus and i think that's it for this video i hope you learned some things about the type of uh, microorganism so wear your mask wherever you are going out since the pandemic is still here so wear your mask let's together fight the covid19 so hope that we can Live like before. Peace. And we can go out everywhere. Okay. So, I think that's it. Thank you for listening. And hope you can like and subscribe my video for next videos. Okay. So, I think that's it. Bye.